what is a rainbow? You can tell I've been asking because of my hands. A quick Google search will tell you that light is made up of many different wavelengths and each of those wavelengths appear as a different color. When light hits a transparent object, most of it goes through the object and reflects off the other side. But if the light hits it at an angle, something very different happens. It refracts or bends. Now imagine this object is spherical. There is a ton of reflection and refraction happening when light hits a transparent sphere. It hits the sphere, refracts into it, reflects off the other side and refracts back out again. But what's happening with all of those different colors? Like I said, light is made up of a bunch of different wavelengths and each of those wavelengths refract differently. Violet being the shortest wavelength makes a path that looks like this. Red being the longest wavelength makes a path that looks like this, causing it to come out of the sphere at a slightly different angle. This is how a transparent object like a prism or a sphere can separate light into its different colors, and it's called dispersion. You see a rainbow when this happens with all of the raindrops in the sky. If you're anything like me, that wasn't quite the satisfactory answer you were looking for. I get what a rainbow is, but why doesn't it look like this? Or like this? If there's raindrops all over the sky, why doesn't it look like this? To get to the bottom of this, I needed to ask, why is a rainbow? Why is a rainbow like this? Well, it turns out Douglas Adams was right when he said the answer to life, the universe, and everything was 42 give or take. Like I mentioned before, when light refracts out of a raindrop, each wavelength does so at a slightly different angle. That angle, depending on the color, is between 40.5 and 42.5 degrees, which everyone just says is 42 degrees. Now, obviously, in order to see a ray of light, it has to travel directly into your eyeball. If it doesn't, you don't see it. If you're thinking about the direction in which the sun comes in, if you mark every single place in the sky that would make a 42 degree angle with the ray of sun and your eyeball, it would look like this. And 42 degrees is where that light dispersion happens. And that's why the rainbow is in that iconic shape. Up close, it looks something like this. Here I have several different raindrops dispersing light. You can see that they all disperse all of the colors, but only the red one lines up with your eye right here. And same goes for all of the water droplets all the way down, which is why each color is distinct in the rainbow. Because you're only seeing the light rays that directly hit your own eyeball, you and the person standing right next to you will never see the same exact rainbow. Each rainbow that you see, is unique entirely to you. Doesn't that just make you feel so special? Unless you could somehow merge eyeballs with another person. I mean, it's 2020. Nothing surprises me anymore.